Legacy Learning lesson is going to cover changing the ownership of a horse in the middle of a period. We will look at changing the ownership of the horse in the boarding list, which involves checking them out, billing board, billing the unbilled procedures, changing the owner, and then checking them back into the boarding list. And then we will look at changing the ownership of a horse that is not in a boarding list, which consists of billing the unbilled procedures and then changing the owner. So we'll go to Wise Option. We'll go to the boarding module and we will select the horse that we would like to check out. We're going to use I'm a Tough Mister for this example and check him out. Yes, we would like to check him out of the boarding list. Today's date is fine. You can use a different date if you desire, but we're going to use today's date. Today's date is the correct date and we are sure, so we'll click yes. We can add comments at this point if we want to. I'm not for this example, but Wise Option always recommends you do add detailed comments so that if in the future you need to go back and look at something, you know exactly what happened. So we're going to say no for this example. We do not want to set this horse as inactive because he's not technically leaving the place. We're just changing ownership. So we will say no. He's now been charged $133.33 for the prorated board rate. And this has been charged to, again, the old owner. We'll say OK. Now that he is leaving, we can build the last procedures. He's not technically leaving, but we do want to build the last procedures, so we'll say yes. These are the procedures available to be built for this horse, so we can click each one. And again, these are going to the old owner. We're going to click Bill. Today's date is fine. Say OK. He's now been billed $250.33. It's going to ask if we want to print the bill. You can choose to print the bill at this point or at the end of the month if you set up um, on your printing statements uh, on those options to be from 3-1 to 331. This invoice will print out on the old owner summary statement as well. I'm going to choose not to print the bill at this time. Say no. So I'm now going to close everything. I do not want to print a departure report. He's not technically leaving. And the checkout's now been completed. We can close the boarding module at this time. So now all of the old owner's information has been billed. The horse is current with a zero balance. We can go to that horse file. And again, it's I'm a tough mister. And I'm going to go to update. I'm going to change it from Julie Lewis, who is the old owner, to the new owner. And that's going to be William Rust. So I can save this. And it's been updated. He is now the new owner of I'm a Tough Mister. I can close this, and I'm going to return to the boarding module and check I'm a Tough Mister end on today's date. So I'm going to go down, and I'm going to find him here. He's going to remain on halter horse board at 800 a month. Pick my date is going to be today. And I'm going to register his arrival. Today is the correct date. And I'm not going to add comments. Again, we strongly recommend that you do add comments. And he's now checked back into board. So the procedure has been completed for a horse that is in the boarding module. We're now going to look at the horses that aren't in the boarding module. I'm going to go to horse file. For this example, it happens to be an inactive horse. So I'm going to view inactive horses also. It's going to refresh the list. We're going to do classic sport. And I'm going to highlight her name one time and go to billing. Again, these are her procedures that are available to be billed this month, so I'm going to select both of them. I can also use the check all or uncheck all at any time. Select both of them and click bill. Today's date is OK. It's now been created. Again, I have the option to print the bill at this time. So I'm going to close this. Now with classic sport name highlighted, I'm going to update it and change the owner from Painted Rock Farms to the new owner. And the new owner will be Terry Smith. And we can save this. And now just so that you know, we can close this. And let's go into Painted Rock Farms, into their account. And you'll be able to see the invoice that we just created for Classic Sport is right there. We can double click on that invoice and verify that those are the two procedures that we charged her. So we're going to close this and exit back out to the main screen. And so for this e-learning lesson, we've gone over changing the horse, uh, ch sorry, changing the ownership of a horse both in the boarding list and not in the boarding list.